Welcome to my channel, Steve of the Window Cleaner. Today, we're gonna to talk about something we've talked about before, but I have to make another video about it because I've been, been getting asked so, so many questions about it lately that I wanna make a good video with my good camera to really show you the details of what my favorite squeegee combo is, okay? So, as you all know, this is my favorite squeegee combo. I have it in almost every size except for the little sizes of like six and eight inch. So what is it? It's the Mormon Accelerator 2.0 handle. We got a lot of things we can do with this, of course, right? We can let it swivel. We can lock it so that it's stiff. We got five different angle changes here, 40, 25, 10, negative five, negative 20. We got all of those. And then also I use the Edray brass channel with a little bit of duct tape right there just to hold the handle to the channel a little better to keep it from slipping. And I usually use Unger Green Rubber or Ettore Master Rubber. That is my favorite thing. I always use two clips um, here at the ends. I like to have two clips, not one clip, so that my rubber is tight and strong. And then, um, you know, one thing that people go back and forth on is using duct tape or not. So duct tape allows it basically just to not slip. Okay, so you see that not slipping, but without duct tape, you can slip. It's still pretty stiff, but it can slip. It's really either or uh, how you like to do it. I put the duct tape on there, especially with like my, let me put this together real quick right here. So especially with my combination tool with the flick pad, I always use duct tape just in case you jam against the frames and it moves that at all along the, I don't want to do that with pole work. So I definitely, definitely put it there but all the tools you use by hand, you don't really have to use the duct tape if you don't want to. You just might get some slippage here and there. Another thing to talk about with these is that, can you do this with other channels? Yes, you can, okay? So you can use this with a lot of different channels. But know this, once you put these handles on an Ettore brass channel, it makes this whole bottom area where it grasps the channel, it, it it messes up the plastic basically where you can't use it after you use it on Ettore brass on a lot of different channels. So if you want to use it on stainless steel Ettore, perfectly fine, right? It's also going to slip a little bit, I think even a little bit more than the brass because the stainless steel is a little bit thinner, but you can use it on there fine because it grasps it in the same exact way. Also with the Ettore aluminum ones as well, you can do that. But know this, that if you're using it with like a Unger S channel, or Unger S Plus channel, it's going to, let me get it to where it grasps. So it is going to go, you can see in between the slots of so these S channels or the S Plus channels, they always have these slots, right? So it's going to go into those slots, but it's going to be loose. So we see how loose this is. And it's loose because of the memory that it has from the, being on the Ettore brass. So just know that if you're going to use it on like Unger, S channel, something like that. You want it to be a brand new handle or the handle straight from your liquidator. So you couldn't take this after using it on Ettore Brass and use a liquidator channel. So this is a liquidator 3.0. If you put it on here, it's just gonna slip, okay? Because basically that plastic now has been molded to the size of the Ettore Brass, so no longer is it gonna fit. So if you want to have a handle just for your liquidators and your Unger channels, I would suggest doing that. Once you put it on the brass channels, it's going to basically make it so that it only works with channels like that, okay? So just know that. Um, you know, the big reason why I use this a lot is because of the different angle changes of the handle, but also the ability that it has to close out on a pole. Now, where does that come from? There's only one other squeegee that has the clearance that this Mormon has, and that's the Wagtail Orbital, okay? The Wagtail Orbital almost has the same exact clearance there as the Mormon Accelerator 2.0 handle. That's what really drawed me to this handle is that I could pull it 30 feet with no ledger and close out a typical commercial frame with ease, okay? Now, deep, deep, like six inch frames, you're not gonna do it on, but it was really funny to me when I got this the other day and I realized, hmm, is this where they maybe got the idea was from the Wagtail Orbital? Because when I first got this, I said, wow, I mean, they really thought this out as far as figuring out how to make a handle that closes out so nicely. 
And I think that's where they may have gotten the idea. And this is the only other handle like this or like the high flyer that you have this much area to close out to get flush. Um, so that's, if you ever want just like a smooth storefront squeegee, these are sweet. These are really, really fun. But um, that's another reason why I really, really like it. I don't switch back and forth in between stainless steel and Unger S channels. I pretty much editor brass all the way now. I really don't use a whole lot of other things. Now, if you were to go to like small channels, like a six inch or eight inch or something like that, I would suggest just going with something like this, unless you're doing storefronts and you need a swivel. Um, maybe you need a swivel for storefronts. You go with the Ettery, uh Super System, and then you have the quick release and you have the swivel, right? So I would suggest doing those for smaller channels, but for pretty much anything over 10. So I have from 10 up to 22 with this configuration. This is what I use. And it's super nice with pole work, you know, pole work straight in front of you. You can just do a lot of things. It's a, it's an amazing handle and they've held up extremely well. Let me show you my, you know, original handle that I got for this. And, you know, when I made my first video about the Mormon Accelerator 2.0, I said that this was going to break and this was the one that I said. But I mean, look at the wear and tear on there and it still works like day one. It, it feels crazy cheap when you first get these. But I mean, overall, they just do really, really well. You can see it's totally scratched up there, but it's fine. Everything works fine on it. Every angle change works fine on it. You know, the 40 degree there is almost done, but this channel, I mean, this handle has held up to the test of uh, everything that I've put it through. Um, I don't even find, if these ever get stuck, which they really don't. And what I like too is that like, if you don't have both hands, so what I do sometimes, say that hey my handle is in a is in like 10 degree but I want a ladder I have one hand you can literally just take this to the body shake it and you're boom you're good to go it just has so many possibilities with it um, that that's always what I use um, and that's basically it that's that's my combination squeegee tool that I always use now here's the question and here's also why I made this video do you think this would be a good squeegee combo to have on windowcleaner.com to purchase the reason why I've never presented it to Window Clean Resource was because, you know, I thought that basically that idea of having to tell people, hey, well, maybe you should add duct tape may not be the greatest um, experience for somebody. You know, they, you don't you don't want to get a tool and you have to add a paper clip, you add duct tape, right? But it's a modification. It's a DIY modification, but it's super, super easy to do. Everybody has duct tape. So do you think that this should be a combination on the website to be able to buy with just a short explanation of what to do to make it work best? Because I do know, you know, a lot of people just use it like this without the duct tape and love it. So that's basically it. That is my favorite squeegee combination is the Mormon Accelerator 2.0 with the brass channel. Um, if you were asking me, that's what I'll tell you. Maybe until the Mormon Accelerator 3.0 handle comes out, maybe it's even better. So, that's basically it um, as far as that goes. We're gonna be doing some fun tool reviews coming up. We're gonna go with some old school stuff that I haven't done for a while. Um, there's some videos I used to do a long, long time ago that we should come back and kind of review and we'll keep going with the new business series as well. I know sometimes the business videos aren't as fun for some to watch as others, but it really does help out some of the newer guys out there as far as just getting a different perspective on some of the stuff we talk about. So anyways, I hope you all are having a uh, awesome, awesome spring and we'll talk soon. Peace. Bye.